Um, we grow several varieties of the um, pears in our garden and I'm now going to compare two varieties of pears from our own orchard, fruit orchard in the allotment. We have around 120 trees in our allotment, most of them dwarf in root stocks and they give us uh, plenty of crop. So today I'm now going to compare a Doiner Docomis pear with a um conference or oh no that's a concord pair yeah concord pair uh, concord is a is a hybrid of the conference and um, commis commis is practically the same as done to commis so it has the reliability of the conference prolific prolific fruiting and the taste of the uh, commis or done to commis also is inherited in the genes of it. Comis is a good pear, is a tasty pear, is an aromatic pear, and uh, as you see, uh, this sample of it is smaller, it's kind of pyramidical shape or heart shaped, you can call it. And conference is more pear shaped, what you expect from a pear, European pear practically. This looks more, more like a Asian or Middle Eastern pears. And uh, now I'm going to give a cut to both of them and just go have a tasting. Okay, I have cut the Doiner de Comis pear. It was very juicy when I was cutting. Juice was squirting out of it. And now I'm going to cut the uh, conference pear. The flesh of the Doiner de Comis is kind of whitish. Uh, and we will see how the com Concord will look. Okay, now this is the uh, Concord, and you see that uh, Doiner de Com is uh, slightly yellower in its whiteness, and the uh, Concord is uh, slightly whiter. Uh, it felt a little bit more grainy and uh, a little bit harder to cut, and but the juice amount uh, is 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 good in both of them. I'm going now to cut a piece of both and just taste. Okay, I have now cut uh, two pieces of each and I'm now going to taste the uh, Concord first. As I said, it's whiter. Mmm, slightly crunchy. Oh, very sweet. Sweet, no special aroma, but very sweet and sugary. Kind of jammy, compote like. Mm. Um, the flesh is firm but easily edible. Mm. I must say, very sweet. Very sweet. No flavor in the sense of being flavorsome or aromatic, but very sweet. So, let me finish eating this. And we go for the you want to do commerce. Okay, now I'm going for the Doiner de Comis. As you can compare, they look almost similar in the... Doiner de Comis usually goes very bigger. This here was a little smaller. Anyway, I'm tasting it now. Mmm! Lovely! Easy to bite. Sweet! Mmm! Flavor! Oh, it's full of flavor! Mmm! Really flavorsome, and um, mm, really what you expect from a good pear that slight peariness, slight tannin, pleasant tannin. I mean, slightly makes it slightly a little bit bitter, not much, but that adds to the pleasure of it. Mm. Mm, very juicy, not as firm as that one, it's not hard at all, easy to eat. If I want to give the sweetness, a gradient with sweetness, this sweetness is about 9, Concord. And doing the Comis sweetness is about 7, but the, for the flavor, doing the Comis is about 8, Concord is about 4 or 5, but 
Concord is very reliable. Every year, year after year, trouble free, no scab, no pest, nothing. Gives every year continuous crop. Doing the comments I've heard is very difficult, but in my orchard, actually it grows very well. And I have um, pears every year now, but as not as prolific or as large as the Concord. So if you want to plant something, I recommend Concord, but have one doing the comments because that's, that's what you will look forward the taste of the proper pear proper taste of pear so both of them are excellent taste wise this is better flavor some aromatic uh, concord very reliable trouble free go for this if you just want to have one pear tree in your home because every year you will have plenty to eat